Stay tuned to the end of this video for details on how you can win this Mattel Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Savage Strike Velociraptor Echo. Hello and welcome to Cretaceous Cantina, where today we're having a look at the Mattel Jurassic World Legacy Collection Isla Nublar Escape Set available exclusively at Target in the U.S. All right, you guys, I'm very excited about this set. I love everything having to do with the Legacy Collection, generally speaking, because it does harken back to that original Jurassic Park film, the best Jurassic Park film, my favorite Jurassic Park film. And uh, as such, I gotta buy anything that comes out from this line in the Legacy Collection. I mean, I've gotta buy anything Jurassic World, right? Let's be honest. But this set kind of just showed up. We didn't even know about it until pretty recently and now it's hitting Target stores. I had really poor luck finding this at my local Target. Really, really poor luck. I was using the Pop Finder app to try and locate it and you know, it's a Target exclusive and it kept showing that they were in stock at several local Targets. I went, they couldn't find it in the back, called another Target. They said, yep, we got it in the back. When you get here, they'll pull it out for you. Went, they couldn't find it either. I think there was some disconnect between what was actually in the app and what was in stores. Cause then when I went back to one of those targets like a week later, the Mattel rep was actually there setting up a planogram for a uh, Mattel Jurassic World end cap for Camp Cretaceous. And she couldn't find the sets in the system at all, despite what the Pop Finder app was saying. And they still don't have them. So I think there was some delay or some weird thing going on there. In any case, they did go up on Target.com and that's where I ordered my set from and was a lot less painful than having to go to the store multiple times and call and be disappointed. Ordered it, it showed up, here it is, retails for $29.99 and incorporates that awesome new Primal Attack aesthetic. This is the first time I think we're seeing it in the Legacy Collection, like that Primal Attack sort of look that's new for 2020. I think it looks really cool. I love seeing the fences. I love seeing the dinos in there. I love seeing the humans, humans. The banner right there, that is awesome. Tells you it's the Isla Nublar escape set. And uh, I don't know why it has Owen because I mean, it's the legacy collection. Shouldn't it have Dr. Grant or Dr. Sattler or somebody else? At the back, we continue the primal attack theme. So we do have that blue background with a map of the island and looks like some pathways. Uh, it looks like uh, John Hammond is fighting off uh, one of the raptors and it looks like Dr. Sattler is about to be bitten by one of the raptors. It says ribbon banner included. It really is a cool looking set. Now, I will say that this packaging is a bit flimsy. Uh, it's not quite as sturdy cardboard as some of the other things we've seen before, um, nor is it as sturdy as the recently released Camp Cretaceous um, set, the one that had the Stegosaurus and the Baryonyx. Uh, I did review that on Instagram if you guys want to check that out. Uh, it's on my Instagram TV in my profile. Uh, there is the UPC right there in case you need it. And uh, the sides are fairly plain uh, for this box. Not a whole lot to remark about. All right, I'm gonna take a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set opened up. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at all of the contents in the Isla Nubar Escape set. All right, so here are all the contents that come in the box out of the packaging. And as you can see, we have some pretty cool stuff here, especially for the $30 price point. I think this is quite good. Uh, let's go ahead and start out first with the human figures that come as part of the set. So we get Dr. Hammond and we get Dr. Sattler and it is really cool to see these figures um, in uh, the Legacy Collection in 2020. Uh, obviously we did get Dr. Sattler before and uh, you know she was one of the harder, probably the hardest to find figure in uh, 2018 when the Legacy Collection came out. And of course uh, Dr. Hammond, John Hammond, Remember the uproar when this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive? People were livid and I was like, guys, chill out. It's probably gonna come back. It's probably gonna come back, uh, you know, a little bit later, you know, we might have to wait a little bit, but I'm sure it's gonna come back somehow or another. Well, he's back and where are all those people now? Um, they're quiet. <laughs> um, in any case, here is John Hammond. This is the same figure we've had before. It's exactly 100% the same. It doesn't come with the Raptor incubator which I don't think is a huge deal. I wasn't really a fan of that accessory. I thought the Raptor looked pretty awful and the accessory itself, it just didn't look that great. Um, so, I mean, he has his cane, that's the important thing. Uh, and as with before, this is a really nicely done figure. I really do like um, his face. 
I mean, it looks a little goofy. It looks a little silly. I mean, it did before. Um, you know, it's part of the three and three quarter inch line. So a six inch figure I would hope would look a lot better than this. I still think it's a great figure. I, th I think it's fun. We've never had a Hammond figure in, in the um, smaller range of figures or in any range of figures, really. So this is pretty, uh, this was pretty re revolutionary last year when it first hit as part of that exclusive Comic-Con set. Uh, but now that he's widely available in this pack, uh, it's great. You know, if, if you didn't have him already, I'm sure this is going to be the highlight of the set for you. And uh, if you did have him, then I, I think this, the highlight's going to be the Raptors and the banner that comes in the set. But it's the same figure that we got before. I did a review about, of it back then. Ball joint at the head, insert molded joints here at the shoulders. Same thing here at the elbows. Nothing at the wrists. Uh, we do have a Sully here at the waist. He has um, ball hinges here at the hips, so he does a you know, really nice range of movement and intermolded connections there at the knees as well. So pretty nicely articulated. I still maintain that these figures really need the wrists. Uh, it doesn't have wrists. It really could use them. I do like the watch detail. That's pretty cool. Here's the cane up close. You can see that the mosquito is printed on there and the bamboo portion of the cane looks quite nice. Uh, it's pretty straight. I know that a lot of the times with um, the Comic-Con set, they were coming really warped. Uh, in this case, it looks quite nice. You can stick it in his hand just fine. And uh, yeah, he seems pretty chipper. For whatever reason, Dr. Sattler, from what I've seen online and in the sets that I've acquired, she's coming with pretty poor QC, particularly on the face. Like, look at her right eye. It's like kind of low on her face compared to the left eye. I don't know why that is. This wasn't really an issue with the uh, the basic figure in 2018, so I'm not sure what the issue is with this particular set, why they're having paint issues with her. I mean, she looks good overall. The colors seem to be on par, but yeah, the QC, I mean, look at the leg. Like when I got this, this set, when it came in, I showed my friend, I said, hey, you know that set I was having such a hard time finding? It's here, it came in uh, from online. And the, one of the first things she said was like, what's wrong with the leg? Like, you know, I mean, you know, for somebody that doesn't even collect toys to, to kind of own in on that. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty bad. They didn't paint the leg all the way up on either leg, really. But look, she's got like paint that's like up here on her hip. It's like, why? Why is, why is the paint all the way up here? You know, what is that? That just looks terrible. QC should not be that poor on these figures. I know that, you know, they're three three quarter inch figures. It's a $30 set. QC should not be like that. I'm not sure what's going on, what it is with Ellie that they're having a hard time because Hammond is just fine. No issues at all with Hammond's QC, but for whatever reason, Ellie's getting like kind of like the short end of the stick, unfortunately. The articulation's the same as before. Um, she's got a ball at the head, doesn't get a whole lot of movement though. Uh, Insermolly connection at the shoulder, same thing at the elbow. Her hips kick out, they can go forward all the way and a uh, good joint there at the knee. So you can rotate that and bend it back all the way. Um, she doesn't come with any weapons or accessories. It's just basically plain Dr. Sattler with bad paint. I was really excited about these Raptors because they are based on Jurassic Park, that very original paint scheme, which a lot of us wondered why they weren't doing in 2018 with the Legacy Collection. They finally got around to doing it, and I think the results are pretty epic for the most part. If you look at the artwork on the back of the box, these guys look so much better, so much more detailed. And I mean, that shouldn't come as a surprise. That's usually the case when you look at the back of the box on these Mattel Jurassic figures. But the lower jaws just look so much better here. So, so much better than what we got with the final product. And that kind of bums me out a little bit because I mean, they didn't even paint the lower jaws. They're just cast in this like color. I mean, they don't look terrible. But they could have looked so much more film accurate had they followed, you know, what we see on the packaging art. That just looks so much better. So if you've been following me for any length of time uh, on YouTube uh, with these Jurassic World videos, then uh, you know that I affectionately refer to this raptor as the boob grabber. I mean, it just looks like a sneaky raptor that's going to kind of come up to you and you got to watch out where he's putting those hands or she's putting her hands because, yeah. And then this one... I, is affectionately known as the crotch biter because it's just in such a perfect position uh, to, uh, you know, come at you. And you got to be careful around these guys. You got to be careful around these guys. Um, so, yeah, they're not the best sculpts that Mattel has for Raptors. I'm not sure why they went this route other than them probably being the least expensive for them to move forward with. 
They're not terrible, um, but they have so much better sculpts. The Battle Damage Blue, the Savage Strike Blue, the 2.0 version. Those are so much better uh, than these. I would have preferred to have seen those used instead of these. But I will say they do look a little bit goofy. Like it's just it's the sculpt though. It's you know it's they're not the best sculpts. I mean they're decent enough, and they have a hard time standing as you can see. But they just look kind of goofy. Like I kind of feel like I don't know. Like look at this. She just kind of looks like, oh, look at me. I'm so pretty. Look at me. Look at my makeup. Kind of like that. Kind of like a, you know, bit of a, I don't know, <laughs> a bit of a drama queen or something. And then the same with this one. Like they just look kind of like, like you can just visualize them flipping their hair, getting ready for a selfie or something. Um, I mean, they look nice. Uh, despite the sculpt, the paint is actually pretty good, except for this not being painted. The rest of it looks nice. Uh, we have this really nice dark brown color, um, and then you get into this lighter, it's still a dark brown color, and then the gradient that fades into this yellow color that begins about yay here, and then continues all the way up to the snout. It's going to be the same thing on this Raptor. Uh, this is easily the most film accurate paint scheme they've done to Jurassic Park. And I'm happy about that. I got to tip my hat to Mattel for finally giving that to us. It's just that it could have been done a little bit better. It could have been done a little bit better, um, particularly down here with this lower jaw. That kind of bugs me. The eyes, they do have this kind of green metallic, and I think that is pretty cool. Unfortunately, this one isn't painted very well on that side. Like, the pupil's kind of sagging. And then this one, um, like, the green isn't painted properly onto the eyeball. Like, it's not centered correctly better on this side I guess uh, and then of course you can open the mouse you can see there are beautiful teeth and I think the mouths are the same color on the inside as they always are with these raptors uh, yeah Jurassic Facts app right there if you need that there's that one and then this one I don't know if they show up the same in the app I haven't checked but yeah uh, they did paint the hind claws on here but not the fore claws so or the forelimb claws so yeah, these are nice for what they are. They could have been better. They could have used better sculpts, but I'm happy to have them either way. And last but not least, we get the banner that comes with these figures. So this is, I was really excited about. It's probably in fact, the thing I was the most excited about about this set. I know that's kind of silly, but we've never had an officially licensed Jurassic Park banner in this scale. You know, Kenner never did it and Hasbro didn't do it. Mattel's doing it for us finally and that's really cool. I really like how it has these strings. That way you can tie it or hang it on your wall. I mean, even if you don't want to use it as part of your toy display, you could still use it like on your desk or hang it on your wall or on your door. Um, so it's really cool that it does have these strings so you could affix it wherever you want to. The actual banner looks really great. When dinosaurs rule the earth. It's really long. Like I'm having a hard time getting the, the full thing into the frame here. It's really long. Uh, and it looks really nice. It's a really nice quality. You can see it's got kind of like a sheen to it. They didn't skimp on this. It could have just been paper or something awful. This is really nice. Like, look at that. This is the kind of thing that seems like it's not going to crease. And uh, it's just a really nice material. It seems like it'll it'll lay nicely wherever you decide to hang it. I really like this. This is awesome. Good job, Mattel. I will say, too, that these cardboard backdrops that come in some of these sets are awesome. I use some of them on my shelf. Um, this one is pretty neat too. I, I like the background and if you're willing to do a little bit of surgery on it, like uh, this one doesn't stand, that's why I'm kind of holding it. Um, you can do a little bit of surgery down here and get it to stand and, you know, maybe hang the banner from it, put your figures on it. Cool stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Mattel Jurassic World Legacy Collection Isla Nublar Escape Set. Overall, you guys, I really like this set. Like I said, Legacy Collection, give me more of it. I want to see more stuff in this line. Even if it incorporates some repacks uh, or reuse, as this set does, I'm okay with it as long as we also get some new stuff along the way. This time we got film accurate uh, raptors. We got a new banner that is uh, film accurate. I'm stoked about that kind of stuff. Give me a set with Malcolm and the Jungle Explorer or... I don't know, just give me some new stuff that is rooted in that classic, original, uh, timeless film, and I'll be happy. I think $29.99 is a great price. Like I said, it's not a perfect set. There are some QC issues. The Raptors could have been done a little bit better, but you know, this is a really nice way to get Hammond out there to the market. I know a lot of people weren't able to get the Hammond figure before, so this is a great way for them to get it now. And uh, the banner is really, really cool. That's a really cool addition to the set. I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with the set. I think they did a good job. 
and it's really nice to see more in the Legacy Collection at Target. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Will you be picking up this set? What's the QC like on your Ellie? Um, let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think about the Raptors, the banner, all that? Sound off down below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Subscribe to the Cantina Chatter podcast wherever you listen to podcasts, as well as the Collect Jurassic World podcast. As always, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye. All right, now as far as how you can win this Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Velociraptor Echo, it's pretty straightforward. So in celebration of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous coming to Netflix next month, I wanna give this dinosaur away to one of you guys. It's brand new, it's just starting to hit retail, just starting to hit online, and I'm really excited to have it because I think it's a really cool looking dinosaur. And what you need to do is like the video and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite part of the Isla Nublar escape set is. Is it the Raptors? Is it John Hammond? Is it the banner? Whatever it is, let me know. And I will enter you into a random.org drawing. You have a week to enter, so a week to leave a comment. I will close this off on August 9th, which is Sunday, uh, a week from the, the day that this video is published. And then the winner will be announced on the August 17th episode of Cantina Chatter podcast. So I'm going to do the drawing and announce the winner on that episode. And if you are the winner, all you'll need to do is send me a message on social media, uh, Twitter or Instagram, letting me know that you are the winner and uh, giving me your address details and all that. So pretty straightforward. I didn't want to make it too easy. Didn't want to make it too hard either. Um, so yeah, uh, you'll need to tune into the August 17th episode of Cantina Chatter to see if you won this figure. Good luck and I hope you win.